Hey everybody, welcome to a satellite location of Richie's Rainbow Ride. Um, <clears throat> we are going to start this with a good vibes only message. No, Sparkles is not here. I know you're wondering where Sparkles is. Sparkles is actually in the car, keeping my car very high vibration. So I have been going through um, some further healing work that needs to be moved through as I am um, making space, so to speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speak freely, yes, thank you. And <clears throat> right now I am going through some stuff where it's very interesting how I did not realize that the patterns from our past could be something as simple as when we are making choices and decisions. I, I need to pull out these to inspire amethyst selenite with blue kyanite just dropping that there um and the sage bag and the rose quartz pyramid and it's selenite that the rose quartz is on which i'm sure you guys already know um but just dropping those little pieces there because every time i record i always forget that you guys are the reason why i get those pieces of information and that's what i love so much about this my loves it's so freeing and rewarding and um i need to mention candlelight goes a really long way so anyway <laughs> i'm gonna go all over the place um, oftentimes for, for my personal journey, I was told 22. Oh, okay. I have to mention 22. We all know what 22 means. Um, master building. I'm going to go with that's what's happening right now. Right now. I feel like, I don't know what I feel like. I feel like I'm a, I'm a something. I'm a, hmm, let's talk. Let's talk shop, guys. <laughs> totally snorted. Um, <laughs> is back to what I was saying now. You choose this or you choose that. And indicative of, let's say, you have to choose this person or choose this person. And for me, it was always, oh, 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 oh. And guess what message divinity is showing me? To choose myself. And that's something that was two, three, four when I just said that. Um, <clears throat> that is something that's foreign to me. So right now I'm going through stuff and I couldn't figure out how to choose myself with some stuff that's going on. And I heard, go stay in a hotel for the night. And I did. Um, and I was falling asleep on a space that, you know, I'm cleansing out. And I kind of heard as I was falling asleep, uh, I wasn't like, I, I couldn't fall asleep. Every time I would drift off, I would hear, go to the hotel. And I would drift off again, go to the hotel. Like a clock, okay? Divine guidance, like a clock. And I'm like, okay, 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 which hotel? What, which one do I go to? Which one do I go to? So I was given, um, look for one. And the one that was on the maps, 88, I'm like, I'm drawn to that one. And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't know what it was. And I heard, go to Days In. I'm like, Days In? I'm like, you know, Days In. I, I absolutely love Days In. I've stayed here. I, I think I've stayed here once or twice before in other locations. But here in, in the tri-state area, you know, it's just different. Um, where if you go to one in, like, say, Georgia, Montreal. Okay, Mon I have to say Montreal. Remember? Montreal. Montreal. Um... Michigan, Mississippi, uh, Hawaii, and they have them in Europe. Uh, I don't know, maybe that's for you guys to help me understand. <laughs> There's a few things that um, just very synchronistically kind of blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna go with the blah, blah, blah. But the one thing that kept screaming at me on this ticket was go get them. Like I opened the book and that was the first thing. I'm like, oh, go get them. And that's go get our dreams, go get our personal energy, get our self love, go get our healing done. As we heal, more abundance comes in. And always remember abundance is different forms of abundance, a positive light, positive amazingness. And as I'm shedding through some stuff right now, and literally, you, I think I've spoken about this the last couple of videos, my throat shot, my, 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 
<laughs> Thanks, doll. My throat chakra is breaking open. So while I was downstairs, there were these two men at the front counter. Uh, and a part of my awakening, I woke up to Syria in ancient Egypt. And people have asked me to share my awakening experience. This is not my awakening experience, but kind of like what happened with uh, transmutation. So I feel like, uh, I want to say Edgar Allan Poe, um, but maybe less crypty, <laughs> but poetic. Like I was, I was guided to transmute some of what I'm going through um, and how this can also help all of you guys. But when I went through my awakening, I was awakened to ancient Egypt and I've always been drawn to ancient Egypt. And I always knew they were not wearing masks. I'm like, that, that, no, no, why would you walk around wearing, it was not Mardi Gras all that time ago. I mean, let's not even get started on how long ago that all really was. Five, 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 five yeah, five, 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 just, just so you guys know. Um, <clears throat> and these two men were up front, 16 days, they were staying in the hotel. All these very specific numbers were popping out at me. And as I was going to get in the elevator, they were pulling like it looked like they were moving as well, to be quite honest. And I heard, ask them where they're from. And I'm like, okay, I'll ask them where I'm from, where they're from. They're from Egypt. Like, that is, seriously. So I come upstairs and I have a little healing one-on-one -on -one session. You know, I absolutely shed tears. I have no shame in admitting that. This is a journey. We can go up and then we we come down just a little bit as we're pulling some stuff out and healing it. And then, you know, mm, I love you. And then joyous. It's literally like as we're doing what we're doing, we're ripping through things really fast. So we're feeling all of the emotional spectrums of what we're feeling. And there can sometimes be a little anger in there. And the anger part is like, why? The sadness part is like, what's this touching on? And a lot of this stuff came from my childhood that I'm kind of going through right now. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I feel all that. So <clears throat> I go back down to the car to get my pieces for the room and uh, I, I did burn a smack of a sage and I just walked around and you know cleansing the space and and it, it, it completely shifted the vibration of the it, uh, I want almost of the apartment that's so interesting um <laughs> yeah I know I know I know I know I know I know I I, 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 I agree minimalism I agree I agree there's a reason for it um anyway <laughs> um and I'm going to the car and I'm getting my my stuff to you know just kind of change the energy vibration in the room so that it can really feel in my vibratory state and my girls are flitting around I got sparkles galore in here um sparkles I've just got lots of sparkles and glitter happening <laughs> which I'm very used to but this time it's just uh it, it's nice to see that I can create it in another space um, and I'm truly in my own vibratory energy and I feel my own energy for the first time. Thank you. Your energies have been rebooted. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you, guys. I mean, not blah, 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 but thank you. Grateful. Thank you. Very grateful. Gratitude. We must write our gratitude book. I'm going to inspire some of you out there. So, you know how a lot of guys have their little black book? Of course, I have a little pink book. And this, <laughs> I know, um, this is going to be my, my specifically only to gratitude. Um, little pink book! <laughs> and that's what I was saying. I, I, I was talking about glitter and you see what happens. It's like, sparkles, yay, let's talk! <laughs> And there's a bus that pulls up and it's a tour bus. And I'm just like, okay. And you know, a whole bunch of like, you know, Asian people come walking out and I'm like, wow, where are they coming from? And first I got Egypt downstairs. So I'm like, all right, that, that's one thing. Now I got Asia. So if I really want to correlate signs and stuff like that and synchronicities, um, let's just swirl it as indicative of starting a start over of a start that that i'm hearing you guys will understand that um 
that's kind of like when I said something the other day and someone said, you don't know what you're talking about, but you know what you're talking about. I'm like, the pictograph, imaging something or other. I can't even remember it. Um, and I'm like, oh, that's so interesting about Egypt. I'm like, okay, Syria. And then I'm, I'm like, oh my God, like Egypt, like dragons, the pantheons. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm in the right place. So of course, then I start looking up my numbers, like the light bulb went off. That was 1022 when I just said I started looking up my numbers, paying attention to synchronicities. And <clears throat> I started to realize, so of course I have to look up the root number. And I look up the root number and it literally, like the, 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 the part at the end of the numerology meaning when I checked Joanne Sacred Scribes, um, what's the number? I know, what's the number? I'm here and what's the number? 239. That's the number. And as I look up and the, the final words basically were like letting go of the old. And here I am doing something. And I, I had done this once before during my awakening process where I was in a, a, a my awakening. Like I have a video on here, but I'm realizing it's going to probably be our awakening stories yeah, if we could surmise it in a two hour video, it, our awakening is always constantly being shined as we are moving forward and doing our work and our vibrations are going higher. We start to see it from even more of a perspective and we can understand how it happened for us. Um, <clears throat> and I had chosen to do this one night away once before, but I was in a completely different headspace, completely different. Uh, I, I, I don't even think I was in was I even awakened yet? No, I wasn't even awakened. I just I was just in a different space. And this time I'm really transmuting and alchemizing. Alchemizing. Somebody needs to hear alchemizing. And America's best heartland. Okay, that uh, and cranberries. Um and Yankees. Uh, baseball Yankees <laughs> okay um, so I sat here and I heard why don't you transmute some of this pain and I'm like okay okay I, I can transmute some of this pain listen I know I'm always sunshine and roses and I'm still sunshine and roses but there are times when I'm still moving through stuff and that was one two three four um, and you guys are too. So if we're guiding each other and we, those of us that are guardians out there, those of us that are, are mystic in origin, our elders in origin, are you know, galactic, <laughs> um, in origin as well, we're still healing. So yeah, I'm all sunshine, rainbows and roses and unicorns and and my fake girls, and my Arcturians, and my Lyrans, and my Syrians, and my Orions, and now my Pantheons, and other stuff that's coming through. But the human aspect still needs to be healed so that I can really align more so and be in that balanced vibration. So, oh, balanced vibration. Oh, thank you guys. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna read what came through. Um, and as I was writing, started with the human aspect, all of a sudden it finished with a higher aspect. So it was, it was, I finished writing it and I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm so happy you told me to do this. So literally, um, the title is, uh, we're going to just incorporate it all under this one title, but the first part of it was the explosion that was my awakening and it's literally just a small little snippet so we're gonna call it egypt and the dragons when i awoke all of my syrian lineage, lineage of ancient egypt came flooding through dragon realm access was instantaneous fey merlin and mystic side was brought forward and that is what that was and that was in a two to four day window i went from Something's off to what? And the light language started coming out and telepathic communication like this way. Um, and it's still there. So I'm all grateful for all of this amazingness. And then we kind of shifted into a poem, which 
was churning some of my inner pain. And I feel some of these words will resonate with, with, with a lot of you guys and it'll sync up energetically where you'll be like, wow, like, okay, that's interesting. And maybe you'll get inspired to poem it out. Oh my God, I'm so gay sometimes, <laughs> but I love that. Let's poem it out. Okay, you ready? 15, 16, just need to drop that. Oh, let's open my heart space up and help this transmutation. I know we'll be a little light after this I'm hearing. This is a very big deal for me. I grew up feeling rejected, neglected, and elected. At times, when I would try to steer, I was told I knew nothing more than a deer. As I grew older, and became engulfed in a knowing destructive fear. Ah, that was supposed to rhyme, but we're gonna just keep going anyway. Oh, that was such a bah, 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 bah. Keep going, keep going. And I'm gonna elaborate on this because I'm being told to elaborate on it. <clears throat> Patterns of your always in the, f the fore, forever unseen of my own divine door. Egos abound cause a low vibe shroud. My inner turmoil growing ever so loud. I want to like bust out in my language right now. It's like that's what I'm having an issue with. Knowing of strife moving through life. At times feeling the energy knife. Oftentimes, being told to choose a wife. <clears throat> a destiny so grand of unaware of the divine land. The angel showed up and reminded me of our band. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, that was Pandion's and um, we're going to call them the Buzz, which would be the Bumblebees. Uh, I've not shared that yet. Um, and wow, okay. <laughs> Lots of golden honey healing energy just came flooding through on that. Galactic, galactics and stars brought love from the afars. Fay with their glitter helped heal my heart's bitter. Unicorns of light helped me see my inner starlight. A message to be one with divine the, 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 the I am. I am, we are, I am. <sighs> A message from above, enjoy the shower of divine golden love. Okay, so literally when I was doing all that light right before that, I literally saw like golden stardust swirl. Um, Being raw and vulnerable with ourselves helps us bring our inner rainbow fire higher. And that rainbow fire will heal so much. And we are already working so hard. It's not something that you can skip over. Um, it makes us stronger, stronger like guys, beautiful tree elements with those roots, those monstrous roots, 
and we all know that I've been going through some root work, so it's just never a coincidence. Um, <clears throat> 2000, I need to mention the number 2000, 10 and 1000. We also need to be real with ourselves. Um, I'm, I'm hearing it helps to separate our human aspect and our galactic aspect so that we can re-merge it together as one aspect and see what here is trying to show us here that needs to be worked on, healed, moved through, transmuted, um, so that we can shine for each other. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're here to all do. We're shining for each other. We're guiding each other. We're guardians for each other. And I, I'm being told to, once more, the energy guns that oftentimes we you know, put into our light bodies, that is actually creating a rubber band of resistance. Oh, that makes so much sense. And um, as opposed to just going with the flow, babies, 21, 21. Um, there's a whole bunch of numbers coming on. Uh, and, you know, April rolled in. March was hardcore. February was hardcore. April's rolling in and it's just like, what are you going to send out to the universe? What is your inner universe going to send out to the massive universe um, <clears throat> that you want? Are, are you ready to, to move in that positive, good vibes vibration? And even when you're having that, that lower vibration feeling and you're like, ew, I feel so icky. We got to move through the icky so that it's not sticky and we can get through and feel, well, I don't. I, okay, less clicky and less dicky. Um, <laughs> so we can light our, from our eternal candle of wiki. Okay, yeah, I, we're, we're, we're just, we're just. <laughs> and at times if you're feeling low, just think of Mickey. <laughs> I will show you what that Mickey reference is in one of my fave videos. <laughs> um... If you haven't heard this today, my loves, you're doing an amazing job. You keep up that amazing light work. It was 2244 when I said that. The higher ups, they see it. I can literally see them watching us as we're working and doing what we're doing and building what we're building. And, uh, speak of peace, I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing this speak of, speak of peace when you saw, oh, that's what that was. When you sign your new lease, your new lease, lease on life, lease on your existence is when inner peace comes. You could not tell me that before that's probably right i probably wouldn't have believed it i had to get to this point <laughs> you know personal journey and i think it was actually two three four five when i came to that light bulb um our personal spaces are very important this these this rose quartz the soft little sage the candle and bringing the vibration up. I've got two hematite on the bed. They, they fell out of my pocket, not a coincidence. Uh, and I saw sparkles of, of them absorbing whatever needed to be absorbed that was in the environment. And I saw it. And um, our personal space is very, very, very important, which is what goes back to when I said the word minimalist before. Like, I'm looking around in here and like, it's literally like, it's, it's, it's enough to do what we're doing yeah like i could appreciate some more stuff but it's just stuff it's all just stuff so purging clearing healing hearing hearing hearing
yeah, I think you guys just needed to feel that energy. Um, oh, I think some of us are still not doing this. I booked over and I gotta, gotta grab my water bottle. So, water, water is very important. And have that piece of chocolate. <laughs> You're welcome. I think that's I, I think that's it. I did not expect to do uh, an almost thirty minute video uh, for this evening. Um, White Sage, White Sage. I feel like someone might be asking, "What was that bag again?" White Sage, um, and it does help. It does help, and uh, a lot of. Do something special for yourselves. Do something special for yourselves. Whether it's going for a walk in the park, walking your favorite dog, petting your favorite cat, singing to your favorite yellow canary, um, or your pink one, or your bluebird. Um, or for those of you out there that are aware of the wood nymphs, dancing with your jovial earth elementals. <laughs> Those are fun. And that's it. I literally just heard that's it. So I love you guys. And um, yeah, I'm very grateful for this. These, these last two days uh, have been really amazing. And um, I'm being told crystal grid work before I finish. Crystal grid work. Um, lay them out according to your star pull and draw or your angelic guidance or your earth elements your earth elementals whoever is i'm just hearing the word grid work a lot grid work grid work grid work grid work grid work so some of you out there are probably getting called for grid work so maybe you should just kind of run with that if you choose to um I know I like good work and it can be a big monstrous piece of grid work where we can do that. I need to say this because I didn't know this before this where it's and I know that this is indicative of what the ley lines are like for the grid working, but we as well can build. Um, I am just doing this uh, an interlocking grid design that will cause a beam of energy light to go up what is that about that i did not know any of that okay we're just gonna run with that uh, i need to write that down I, you see this is one of those moments where i'm gonna just totally have a yeah a beam of energy light Okay, this turned into like a whole Tesla kind of thing that, that this has happened like once or twice before. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, I'm actually here to keep recording because it's inspiring you guys. So. Oh, I know what you just downloaded. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> and thank you for subscribing. Um, and um, Inner Peace is our new lease. Inner peace is our new lease. I love that. 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 Um, and get our heart rates up. I'm, whether you do the gym or you do jumping jacks or you just twirl around with ribbons and you're like, wee! It, that heart rate brings out a jovial energy, reminds us of our childhood, that inner child that is forced to like literally sleep because of how society currently is. Um, there's a lot of magic with that inner child energy. So whatever it is, I just need to do that. Um, and 
grateful. Look, pink book. All right, I love you guys.